I just don't think that's the case. I think that analog has worked extremely well for lots of businesses, and you stick it in and you forget about it, and seven years later you change it. And I think if you move into a networked environment, which gives you all the benefits, there's loads of benefits which you bring with it, but you have to, insert, you've got to start worrying about licensing, maintenance, and making changes on an ongoing basis. So it is a different environment. But you can do lots of things, particularly enterprise things, which you just can't even envisage with analog. So, but you're right, I think this, this speaks a. So how, are you, how are you adjusting the business to cope with that? Well, I guess. Um, We've had a reasonable amount of experience in IP. DVRs have been IP enabled for, for quite a long time. And I think uh, that's enabled uh, quite a lot of people within our business to, to understand, I guess, the base technology. But of course, you maybe put four or five DVRs on the network. Um, now you're putting 50 cameras on the network. And, and that, so from our side, we've got quite a lot of experience. We've also got some specialist uh, people with skills in house. I think what we've seen is. Obviously, 80% uh, of our business is still predominantly analog. And uh, where IP has been very successful in the enterprise end, they're quite well thought out, pre-designed, a lot of pre-sales support. And with support of all of the manufacturers and our partners, we've, they've been a bit more closed. They haven't been so waywardly open as we've seen in analog with maybe four or five different brands of technology involved. Maybe there's been one perhaps two. So it's been slightly more controlled, so the risk, I guess, the, 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 the complexities have been managed, should we say. I think one of the challenges, uh, we're obviously building our business around the needs of our customers, but I think what, one of the challenges that IP has had is that because of the complexities, people haven't adopted it so fast. Whilst we're there to help on the pre-sales and enable that through, I think with things like uh, standardizations coming through, or people on Viv or PSIA, that will actually take away a lot of the complexity, which will enable IP to have faster adoption, but also in a more managed way, in a more similar way to the to what we've been used to in, uh, in, in the world of analog. So we've got a lot of skills in-house, and we've had those skills for quite a long time. I guess what will change is the amount of people we need with those skills. And I think uh, we're in pretty good shape with, uh, with people who want to who've got actually very good technical skills. So, um, but I think this year we'll see that, that, that growth come through, more so probably next year, as, as technology becomes uh, more managed, more or less maybe Windows-based recording, well not less, that will still grow, but I think there'll be a lot more kind of hardware-based type NVRs, a bit more plug and play, so it's an IP product, but it, it feels in many ways, a little bit, bit, bit more like uh, we're used to, and that will, I think, be a real enabler. Have you seen much uptake of the hybrid systems in the last couple of years? Well, I, th I guess it depends on what you mean by uh, hybrid. Certainly, we're selling systems which have got software client front ends, or they're, they're, managed, they're managed systems where you've got an analog system with some IP cameras on there. What I don't think is taken off so so fast, I think it's because it's technically quite difficult to achieve, are black boxes that will take analog and IP. And I think that's simply because those black boxes aren't so flexible in the very changing speed of codecs and compatibilities that are required. So less so in hybrids on hardware, more so in, in uh, taking analog systems and IP but using PCs to, to integrate those mm. two. I think the next phase will be more at a hardware level, less just purely on the kind of server client software. And in, in the meantime, <coughs> excuse me, in the meantime, while we don't have a, a fully developed global standard, and uh, while we don't really have any plug and play kind of devices for this, where, where is it you're seeing the increase in, in your uh, effort on that side? Is it pre-sales? pre-sales support? In, in terms of the work we'll have to put in? Yeah, that's right, in order to specify and supply equipment to, to your customers. As uh, this gentleman over there said, it'd be, you know, it's, it's not, not about shifting boxes anymore, is it? No, but that, and that's been true of, of a lot of our IP sales. They've, right. uh, they have they have tended to be right at the top end. I think we talked about this uh, a year or so ago. There's We see uh, a lot of IP going on, on fairly simple systems at the bottom and then the larger either open systems or proprietary um, branded solutions uh, at their more enterprise and you know, hundreds of thousands of pounds kind of level. Um, I think what we're seeing is, is, is that technology coming down 
creeping towards the, I guess, the more traditional UK type average market, which is your 10 cameras per system. It's gradually heading that way, not at a huge rate, but I think that's possibly because of the change in the market conditions over the, over last year has maybe changed the rate. But certainly we're seeing with that with uh, with IP cameras are becoming obviously better. They're far more. Far, far more cost effective. Uh, the software is continuously adding more codecs and more compatibility, and all that's helping a little bit. And in short, for us, we are helping with that, uh, with, with the customer understanding, helping our installers understand what technology or what products will, will meet their clients' requirements. And it's really talking them through that compatibility and understanding what is the best solution for their, for their clients. So, yes, we do, do do a lot of that. But of course, there's still a lot of consultants driving through it. Uh, into into those larger scale systems as well. So okay. on, on the analog market, by the way, I think that the idea were, were it so that we were just shifting boxes, but I think 70% of the things that we sell, there has been a high degree of involvement in the design, the, the pre-sale, that. So we don't just take orders over the. I mean, we take even involved in a, an installation design. So it's not uh, just taking it off the shelf. <laughs>